Hello, my name is Benny Wallace and this is my TED Analysis Discussion. You never appreciate what you have until it's gone. The methods that was used in the TED Talk that I used for this discussion is the punch theory. The way that this was utilized was first by person. The speaker expressed that he has been utilizing his theory of misdirecting people by pickpocketing. Unexpected. The unexpected way that he expressed this was by bringing a volunteer from the crowd to come on stage and pickpocket them. Challenging. The challenge was that he expressed to the crowd that he has been using pickpocket as a tactic to express the art of misdirecting people and he had to successfully pickpocket someone from the crowd after already telling them that this is what he does. Humorous. The presenter used magic trick to distract the people so that he would be able to pickpocket them. On top of this, he used a humorous way of interacting with the crowd. The presenter was confident in his theory. His presence was felt. He came across the stage with a sense of confidence and he used imagery as his hands to express what he felt. He was a well-dressed professional person with a suit. He included the crowd in several ways. Another way that he included the crowd, other than pickpocketing someone from the crowd, was by testing them. The test that he used on the crowd was asking them, what is the icon in the right corner of their cell phone? He let them look at their cell phone for a second and asked them, what was the time? No one could remember that. Another way that he used this was by asking them to close their eyes for five seconds and tell him what he wore. Nobody was able to remember this after they had been looking at him for at least about two minutes. The presenter was confident in his theory. His presence was felt. He moved across the room with confidence. He gave a sense of imagery by using hands. Um, he was a well-dressed professional person. He wore a suit. He gave several ways of including the crowd into what he was doing. The star moment that he used in his presentation was memorable dramatization. The presenter in my TED talk best executes the TED commandments of connecting with the people's emotions, don't read your speech, and rehearse your talk. You could tell that he had done this presentation a couple of times, or he has went over this presentation a couple of times, because he knew everything. Every topic was right on. He just kept going with it. It was no like shocker as to when he was going to say something. Everything that he said was with confidence and he knew where he was going with his presentation. What I would like to utilize from watching this TED talk is to be able to include confidence and poise as Apollo Robin did in my Ignite presentation. I want to inherit his stage presence and I would also like to be able to include several of the five punch theories in my Ignite presentation. Lastly, I would like to conduct a memorable dramatization that people are moved and impacted by. Because after he did his memorable dramatization, the people were convinced that it's easy to be misdirected. Because he was misdirecting them by using a magic trick and pickpocketing them for the items that they had on top on themselves at the time even though he mentioned them while talking to them. I would like to reference the Nancy Durrett Resonate book, chapter seven, pages 148 to 156. I would also like to reference the Tech Talk website, which is www.tedtalk.com. My name is Benny Wallace, and I would like to thank you for listening to my discussion three assignment. Have a nice day.